Alrighty guys, in today's video on TrueCut already works, we're going to be looking at how to select layers, or should I say um, objects and shapes according to their layer color. But before that, let's have a quick intro first. So, today's video can be found on softwaretraining.co.za. We make short and easy to watch problem solving videos, and we also have daily updates. Otherwise, back in the program here. Yeah. Now, just a quick reminder, uh, let me get back there, that this is a mini-series on the selections and different ways to go about selecting. I will also leave relevant links in the description so you guys can actually follow along. Now, in today's video, we're going to be looking at selecting items, like I mentioned, according to color. As you can see here, we've got a few different colors, and uh, yeah, we can quickly navigate through and group them accordingly or remove them by color. You can also use this as a quick method to change color, which I will show you now. So now to do this, it is rather simple. On our control panel here on the right, you can see we've got these layers or layer um, colors. And then um, if you just click these, nothing will happen. If you double click them, it will open a dialog box of their layer and so forth. But it is nothing to do with selecting. So let's say we want to select the green ones. Then what you want to do, you actually want to right click on the color here. So with your mouse, not left click, but right click, then you'll see they will become red, which means they are now active. So undo that, same with the light blue or with the darker blue. We can also do that. We just simply right click it and then um, it will highlight these ones to make them active. Now with that being said, it is good to keep in mind that um, uh, this does not work with group layers and I will show you guys now what I mean so let's say we've got these ones it's grouped and uh, so whether it's different colors in a group or same colors it does not work so now let's group these two together the group function so we can see that they are grouped now if I right click this color you'll see it only selects the green ones here on the left because these ones are within a group so that is something to keep in mind and to note it can be rather confusing if you don't know it and you try to select all of them and it doesn't select all your colors. So group layers doesn't work. You can simply just ungroup them then if you want to select it by color. And then with them all selected, if you want to change a color, you can obviously just go here at the bottom and then select a new color. It's maybe black. So this is a very quick way of changing colors. But keep in mind, once you've made the change, now it's under the black layer. So that green layer is no longer there. So now if you want to change them, to green again it's going to select all the um, black layers for you as well which can be a problem so I'll be text or whatever you know which I, if other shapes are also black so I'm just going to undo that so if you do do it um, yeah, just keep that in mind that it will then throw it under a new category like we saw that it removes it so let's say we make it the light blue the green is gone now only the light blue is active so now i have no idea which ones used to be green so um it can be tricky but like i said just keep that in mind but this is a very nice way to quickly change colors if you uh want to preview different colors or the color is maybe too light so you want to work with something darker but yeah that is it on um the selecting objects and shapes by the color layer if we had to head here to softwaretraining.co.za, you guys will notice we've got a variety of different softwares we do cover, and you can also isolate your search here on the top right. If you do not, however, find the training videos you're looking for, just simply go here, request the training video, fill in the mini form, and then we'll do our best to try and make that for you. But otherwise, thanks guys for watching, and cheers.